Unless you're Lizzo, chances are you don't have a tiny bag. Like many, you're probably rocking the George Costanza look. Well, now you can declutter and go fully digital. I think Australians are getting far more comfortable with making payments either online or through their phones. Apple Pay has been a popular choice for many Aussies and will soon be supported by all of the big four banks. St George has just come online and Westpac has announced that they will, but it's going to take them until about mid-year before everything's up and running. But it just makes it so easy to make transactions with your phone or you, even your Apple Watch. Just tap, pay, go. You can tap with wearables or even a coffee cup with a built-in chip. Android users have the option of Samsung Pay, but now there are even credit cards that are exclusively digital. We got examples like Money Me's freestyle card, which is a virtual card, meaning you never actually physically get a card. And also it's about a paperless application process. You sign up through the app, you get approved very quickly, and then the card just gets added to your digital wallet and it's up and ready to go. A digital wallet isn't only a way to pay with a device. You can upload everything from your Woolworths or Flybys rewards card, boarding pass for your next flight. You can even access a digital Medicare card through the agency's Express app. So naturally, the next step was your licence. Natalie Wright is from Sydney and has downloaded the New South Wales digital driver licence. I love not having to ramble around in my belongings to find my licence when I'm out and not having to bring a bag with me, having it all on my phone. You can access one through the Service New South Wales app on your smartphone for free. I think it's probably surpassed everyone's expectations. So we have about 1.2 uh, million customers now that have their digital driver's licence. The New South Wales and ACT police have started to accept it along with Australia Post. Some pubs and clubs are also on board. Queensland looks like the next state to release something similar. But there are some important points to consider. If you're driving and pulled over, you should not touch your phone until a police officer asks to see your licence. So if you're relying on your digital driver's licence, it's got to be charged, make sure your screen isn't cracked. Our phones can also make paying for parking less problematic. So our Cello Park app is a pay-by-phone solution, which means that you use your phone or essentially an app on your phone to pay for parking. You don't use a machine at all, and it is designed to take the guesswork out of parking costs by offering per-minute charging. The biggest issue is finding locations that offer payment via the system, and that all comes down to individual councils. We're very hopeful that within a couple of years, you'll be able to use these kind of services everywhere.